Okay, so here's the idea. Um, pretty much I set up my sign table uh, to be able to get, instead of just using a piece of steel, I wanted to use something uh, that I know is precision, so I put some parallels in there. Uh, I made some, uh, it's almost a quarter inch, not quite, out of um, just dowel pins that are about half an inch long maybe a little bit longer, um, 5 eighths. made them out of uh, copying, linear rail out of a copier and I just uh, pretty much made a vise with the, this bigger parallel here to hold those in have another just store bought dial pin in here I have this, and it's actually curved off on the edge and it's also kind of cut in so it gets on top of that dial pin and kind of holds it down uh, my other hold down is just a screw that goes straight through into my table. And uh, yeah, that's about it. My setup for the height is uh, 4.5355, and it's right around there. Um, I'm not using this as a way to skip hand scraping, just as a way to true this up before hand scraping. Um, I actually stuck a piece of rod in there with a flat end on it and ran a measurement, you know, with some feeler gauges just under each end. And I have, uh, I was 11 thousandths on one end and uh, 20 thousandths on the other. So there's a uh, 9 thousandths of a difference between this and this. I haven't checked the side, but you know what, if it's that much of a difference there, the side doesn't matter. So the whole thought is with the table squared up this way and then squaring this rail under the dovetail with the table I could essentially mill my 45 straight across and it should true this up. Um, this is also warped so hopefully we'll take the warp out of there and then once that's done I can check it with some dicom on my ways and you know I'll mill this down I'll mill this down as well, but whatever you take off of here, if you do this, you have to take double off of here. So, say you take two thousandths off of this side and two thousandths off of this side, you have to take four thousandths off this flat. Uh, I'm not too worried about, as long as I can get these two sides square, I'm not too worried about uh, um, the finish. Uh, I'm planning on, I ordered some Teflon, I'm planning on making a mechanical attachment on each side using these screws and then some wipers, some real heavy duty wipers to keep the crap off the Teflon. And so that way my carriage will ride on Teflon and, you know, as long as I keep my, my lathe clean, my Chinese lathe should last essentially forever because I can just replace the Teflon pads if they get worn down. So, I think I got enough Teflon to do this probably five times over for about 15 bucks and I'm just going to do a, a 0.5 mil in you know on each side here it'll be one piece actually that's folded over in the center and then on this side I'm going to do a one mil um, so essentially this should work uh, I'm going to take a light cut and you know I'll probably only cut a little bit in and I'll check how uh, I'll, cut, I'll start on the other side because the other side's higher but I'll cut a little bit in, I'll check and make sure that you know I'm getting a nice square cut to what's there. Um, not that it matters because as well as being um, as well as my 45 degree for my cross slide being off uh, there's a warp in this as I said and uh, it's also off you know say that okay so what I'm trying to correct right now is how it sits on my bed like this so that's what I'm first trying to correct. The second issue is it also sits like this. And that's exaggerated, of course. But So right now I'm just trying to correct the squareness. And if I can get the squareness corrected, and I can get this corrected by just doing the bottom side, that'll be great. But I still have to scrape these top sides because, as I showed in another video, um, I can't even figure out what the cross slide is touching on these top sides other than one corner. So, yeah. Uh, beats the hell out of me. So, this is my setup. It's 
pretty rigid. I'm going to go through and make sure readjust my gibs and uh, just make sure everything's nice and tight before I make this cut because this is uh, kind of crucial. But then again, like I said, I'm not skipping the hand scraping process. I am just fast forwarding to get it through hopefully and I'm not going to go too heavy because I don't want to ruin anything. So a couple of baby cuts and the nice thing about this setup is essentially you can take this off, check it, and you can set it back the exact same way. So, as long as this rail is true. And just so you guys know, this rail is the solid rail, not the Gibbs side. So it is this side of the cross slide. Since the Gibbs is adjustable, you got to make sure that your alignment's on the solid. And the idea with the two pins on the outsides and the one in the center is it will cause that to be centered with your table. So I'm going to go post this video and uh, I'll let you guys know the results um, sometime down the road in one of my videos. So have a good night. Later.